Let's pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as we all come together, you already went before us. You orchestrated our steps, Heavenly Father, by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that you bless us with a home that we can just come as we are, Father God, to be in your presence, to worship you, Lord Jesus Christ, to lift up your holy name so that we can bless your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, as we come together in every worship service, Father, we boldly declare from this point on, Father God, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that Open Arms Community Church, Father God, this is your church, that your blood, Father God, your perfect sacrifice, the Messiah, Christ our Lord, paid for this church, that you are the cornerstone, you are the foundation, Lord Jesus Christ, and we go through no man, we don't worship anything, but you alone, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, this is your holy place. This is holy ground that we're in, Father. This is your holy building. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this anointing. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for my brothers and sisters being one body in you, Lord Jesus Christ, to take the time out to just come and worship you this evening. And Heavenly Father, I pray in every worship service, whoever the mouthpiece is, whether it's pastor, myself, an elder, whoever it is, whether it's a testimony at the table, Father, that you are the one speaking through that beloved child. That, Father God, we rebuke pride. We want nothing, Father. We don't want to touch your glory because all the glory is yours, Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Father, with, with just open hearts and open minds, Father God, we come to worship you. Father, speak to us. Change us, Father God. If there's things happening in our lives, Father, expose the enemy. And I thank you, Father, that once your light is exposing that enemy, the Holy Spirit. We don't want that enemy to just run away. Cut that enemy's head off. Hallelujah. Say it with you, beloved church family. Cut the head off. Cut the head off. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy name and all God's beloved said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. Praise God. Happy New Year. The message this evening is titled, All In. Amen. All In. You know, my old dead self, I never, what's up, elder, that's the sister thing. My old dead self, now, I have to repeat myself, my old dead self, okay? That's not Joey, your brother, standing here before you. My old dead self, when, when I was worshiping the devil, didn't want nothing to do with Jesus. One of the biggest jokes Trish and I had was, I'm going to save up enough money to get into the world poker tour. And then Trish said, why in the world would you do that? And I said, because I know that I can make it to that final table. And Trish said, the first hand they deal, you're going to go all in. <laughs> and you know what? It's the truth. Amen. And it's also, you know, kind of one of those uh, moments, Pastor, where you're like, you know, you do a self-reflection. You're like, am I really that way? And it's true. You know, whether we confess it or not. In every season of our life, whether you're disobedient or obedient, you're all in. Right? You're either in or out. There is no gray area, right? Let's put it this way. This is how Holy Spirit wants to minister this message, Brother Taylor. Check this out. If we're consumed with worry, depression, you know, constant fear of what's happening, you're all in. You're sold out to what the world says and dictates. Right? Now let's flip gears. Hallelujah. Let's get gooder and gooder. Amen? We're, we go on this side now. Hallelujah. Nothing wrong with that side. I'm just saying, we're, you know, just to show, right? So now let's say this. I've done made up my mind. I don't care how my back is feeling. I don't care what the money looks like. I don't care about my problems. I don't care about your problems. All I care about is my Lord Jesus Christ is seated at the throne. Hallelujah. Oh, now get ready now. Hallelujah, get ready now. Because I'm going to tell you right there is the way the devil says, Dang, I used to be able to keep you occupied with this. Right, Brother Bruce? No more. Hallelujah. Beloved child of God. Hallelujah. No more. Amen. But the, but the enemy was like, oh my goodness, that's what I had all these years. But now you completely rebuked it, and you said, Lord Jesus Christ is on the throne. Amen. One of the easiest ways to have victory manifest in your life is that every distraction, whether it's your blood pressure, 
whether it's migraine, or it could be something in the metro, right? Whether it's that coworker, right? That boss. Let's get a little bit more into it. Maybe it's a family member. I pray not, but this is just real talk now, right? The enemy's hoping that that, whether it's a thing or a person, will take your attention off of Lord Jesus, and now you exert your energy towards that. I am here to tell you, as beloved Bruce said, no more. We're going to exert our energy purposefully in a way that will bless our Heavenly Father and allow His anointing, His light, to shine through us like never before. Amen? How many you receive that tonight? Hallelujah. So the question is, are we all in? Praise God, and we're going to go ahead and move forward. We don't have that much scripture tonight. And um, pray for me because I actually struggled with it. And at one point I was almost disobedient because I started, remember I told you guys not too long ago, when you read the written word of God, pray. Ask Holy Spirit. What do you want me to read, right, Brother Joey? Where do you want us? Where do you want to have a devotional this morning? Holy Spirit, show me, right? Show me, God, where you want me in the Word. And as I read it, teach me, Lord, right? Say it with me, teach me, Lord. See, let's not be fooled. I, I don't mean to be rude. I'm not trying to hurt nobody, but I can only speak for our beloved church. Amen. That's all I can speak for. Because Holy Spirit, bless me to be pastor here at Open Arms. I can only speak for Open Arms. I'm not putting anybody else down. Can I get an amen? amen? I don't judge nobody. I don't put nobody down. I'm not saying that our church is, is better than anyone. I'm not saying that. Even though I know that we have the greatest church in all the world. I, I know that. <laughs> I know that. The Holy Spirit's church. Amen? amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Holy Spirit's here. Amen? amen. But what, I, what I'm telling you is that when we worship God, it's easy for us, Brother PJ, to worship God. Under our own strength and under our own, right? Oh, I need to get in the Word. And, oh, you know what? I'm just mad today. I need to get in the Word. Right? And hear my heart. It's easy to do that. It's easy to get into familiarity with God. I get up in the morning, make my pot of coffee, right? Drink coffee and have a devotion, go into my secret room, right? But the problem is, is that when we do this and we forget to walk with Holy Spirit. Amen. Right? Yeah. That we forget to say, lead me, Lord. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of you may say, well, Brother Joey, my prayer room is just right across the hallway. It don't matter. Amen? Amen. Amen. It don't matter. Good word, Brother Charles. Amen? Because what God is asking of you is, speak to him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Fellowship. Yeah. Talk to me. So I say this all to you, relationship, Brother David. I say this all to you because... Oh, let's give God praise for past Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is born. Hallelujah. Talk about ushering in a new year. Amen. And when Holy Spirit spoke to Pastor John, I'll tell you right now, I'm still feeling it, and you're going to still feel it, because as you notice, the first scripture, the only scripture that comes up, is what we went through and what was titled on this past Sunday. That gets gooder and gooder. Monday evening, had appointments. And in the evening time, I called a beloved brother of ours. For those of you who watched um, the service Tuesday evening, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, Brother David Simpson was obedient. Out of the blue, I said, Brother David, he knew. Holy Spirit called him to share a message. And he sat there in that beloved room where we set up the table. The table's on Saturday evenings. For those of you who don't know, Ask us, amen? We got, we, got, we got all this worship service going, beloved children of God, to sharing testimony and sharing the goodness of God, what His presence is doing, amen? And the Brother David, as soon as he gets into it, he's going, and I'm looking at the Lord going, oh my goodness, Father, I hear you, forgive me. Why? Because I was starting to get frustrated, Sister Rocky, because the word that I had planned wasn't for you guys. God was working on me. Amen. 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 And I thank God that He worked on me. So what you're going to see is, I pray, I pray whoever's up here is just being obedient to what Holy Spirit has for us. Amen. Amen. We all memorize the scripture. I pray that Holy Spirit blesses you beyond what you can ever expect in this next few moments. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen? The thing that we need to keep in mind is that when we say, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, say this with me, that's in the past. Amen. Amen? That's in the past. So now we go into the same scripture, and now we read this part of it, and praise God, whoever believes in him. Amen? Amen? Whoever believes in him. Say it with me, that's the present. That's the present. And then the last part of the scripture, as you guys know, shall not perish and have everlasting life. Eternal life, right? And say it with me, that's the future. Right? And this was the title of the Holy Spirit's message this past Sunday. Past, present, and future. Amen? And the, the, the worship in this service is we're, we're asking God right now. Listen, we're in 2021. 2020 is dead and gone, right? But you notice there's still remnants of 2020. One of the biggest ones is look what we got on our face. Right? And last Wednesday, we asked God, demask us. Right? Demask us, Father God. Give us your glory, your presence in our life. That, Father, I want no mask. I want nothing covering my heart. I want nothing distracting my mind. Demask us, Father God. Right? Show me your glory. Blind me with your goodness. Blind me with your mercy, your grace. Blind me that, 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 that you are my priority, that I am, say with me, all in. All in. Amen. You see, it's easy for us to say that we want to be all in with God. However, it takes Holy Spirit in you to truly examine, are you really all in with me, my beloved child? Or are you all in with so-and-so? Right? One of the biggest distractions, as you guys know it, is illness. It's illness. Whether it's something like this, <clears throat> right? And the enemy wants you to get consumed with, uh oh, right? Uh oh. I sneezed twice. Say, bless you twice. Amen. Amen. Now, come on now. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is on your life. Amen. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Oh, come on, our beloved church family, amen. Glory to God. The blood of Jesus. The blood of God. Oh, my goodness. And so we've been spending a lot of time in the glory of God. And as you notice, this past couple of weeks, we've been looking as far as the mountain. I love that picture. We don't have it up tonight. Holy Spirit didn't ask for that tonight. But, you know, we saw the mountain, the, the mountain that was on smoke, on fire. And you see the smoke. English is hard. Bear with me. Don't look at me like that, Sister Jen. Okay? And you see the lightning, right? And, and so you can imagine all your senses, say that with me, senses. You can imagine all your senses being overwhelmed. Right? You not only feel the ground shaking, but you feel your heart throbbing. You feel the power of the thunder shooting through you. You hear the loud, thunderous roar. And at the same time, you can smell the mountain cooking. I love it when a beloved child laughs, right? That's good laughter, amen? And you're standing there before this mountain going, oh my goodness, right? I, t I pause and take this moment to describe to you the glory, our glory, right, of where this Father God's presence is. But now when we apply that to the New Covenant Church, who's New Covenant Church? Amen. Amen. That's Open Arms Community Church, right? Where is the glory of God now? Amen. Amen. How many of you believe that? Amen. Right? If you believe that Christ lives in you, if you believe that you are a beloved child of God, that Jesus Christ died for me, and so I died in you, Galatians 2.20, I'm crucified. Therefore, it's not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen? Christ who lives in me. Then the glory of God of what I just described to you, beloved church family, is within. But how, how do we take the glory of God from within and treat it as if it no power? Can you imagine? 
that we call ourselves the child of God, but yet there's no power manifesting in our life. You see, and this is where worship, say that word with me, worship. This is where worship comes in. You know, it's amazing to me that we try to chase after all these things to try to be a better Christian. I hear it all the time, right? I hear it all the time. Oh, brother, I want to go to the next level with God. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm warning you, if I hear it come out of your mouth, you're going to hear me say it. So how do you get more Jesus? How do you get more saved? Right? How do you get more saved? Are you either saved or not? Is that the, is that the bottom line? All right, so let's get that out of the way. Can we, can we please? Let me ask you something. Are there different levels of being saved? Okay, praise God. So let's, let's expose, right? Let's, let's expose this devil. Amen? Because the way the devil works is, oh, you say you're saved, but you're not acting like this person. As a child of God, I rebuke you, Satan. I am unique in God's eye. I'll worship Lord Jesus Christ, and I will continue to do so, so don't speak to me. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. You have to rebuke this devil. Because the moment you listen to this devil, and now you start comparing your salvation with somebody else's salvation, the devil got you. And you know what? You start becoming a sourpuss. And now ain't no church good enough for you. And now you're just going to stay home and you're not going to fellowship with other Christians because you know why? You're so filled with insecurities that now you're just like, well, oh, they're just so holy. No, they're not. Holy Spirit is holy. And they're worshiping the holy. Amen? Oh, uh, come on, Lord of Church. Now help me out. Hallelujah. We worship. We worship the holy one. Amen? We worship the holy one. I'm not just doing this for show, but this is my life. This is only that this is only what is allowed to come out of me. Yeah. If there's anything else that tries to come out of me that I know is the enemy, I have to leave it at the altar of God. I have to crucify that thing. Why? Because I know the enemy wants nothing more than to take it out of season that I was never intended to go down. Yeah. But the question is, beloved, are you going to continue living your life the same? Or are you going to allow God to shine through you like never before, starting tonight? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray. I, pray. I know this. I know this. The child of God. Everybody makes. Pastor said this past Sunday. Holy Spirit said it again. We all have free will, don't we, brother? Yes. We all have free will. If we didn't have free will, come on now. This church wouldn't have enough seats. You know why? Because God will say, everybody come to church. Yeah. And guess what? Okay, let's come to church now. Let's go. Right? But God didn't make us that way. God is a loving God. God said, I'm going to give you the choice. I'm going to give you the choice to, to leave behind what you've got going on for just an hour and a half, two hours, and come. And glory to God, you came. Hallelujah. And guess what? Blessings are on the way in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, what are you trying to say, Pastor Joey, that I have to come to church and get a blessing? No, crunchy. I'm not saying that crunchy. What I'm saying is that if you go to a water park, you don't have to jump in the water, but guess what? Eventually some water is going to touch you. Right? And maybe you're like, you're like, oh, I don't want to touch that water. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> maybe I shared a little too much there right now. <laughs> some of y'all look at me like, what did you say? All right? But you know, you go to a water park, guess what? What is what is overflowing? Hallelujah! You come to church, what's overflowing? Hallelujah! Holy Spirit, I hear blessings, I hear healing, I hear breakthrough. Hallelujah! Let's give it all to Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah! Glory to you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, happy new year. Amen. So the question is all in. This right here just shows how God is all in. When it comes to a beloved soul. Yeah. Amen, Brother Wayne? Yeah. He took the worst of us, right? Some of y'all don't even know the conversation Brother William and I have. We, it's all nailed to the cross covered by the blood of Lord Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But you know what's so amazing is that sometimes we get 
in a little conversation, but at the same time, Holy Spirit says, enough. And we just stop. Yep. Amen? Amen? This is how much our God loves us. So let's get into the Old Covenant and apply this past, present, and future just using John 3.16, man. Now this is, a, this, is a bold, this is a bold thing. This is kind of where I struggle. I struggle all the time. I do. I struggle all the time. I'm weak as can be. I'm the weakest one in here. Don't let anything fool you. Don't, don't, don't label me. I'm a beloved son of God, but I am quick to tattletale. Right? You can call me Pastor Tattletale, because that's what I do. I tell God everything. Amen? All my good. If you hurt me, I'm going to tell God. Amen? I will. I'll tell our Father, and Holy Spirit will deal with it. Amen? Amen? I am a tattletale. Praise God. I am a tattletale, and I love it, because my God loves me. Amen? Amen. And my God cares for me. And my God, my God holds me. Amen? My God protects me. Hallelujah. See, if you don't have this revelation, this is between you and God. There you go. Amen? I'm just telling you the truth. Amen? Well, my God just, he, he, he picks me up and he swings me around and my feet just switch around like that. Amen? <laughs> Y'all are blessed with children, right? When you pick up your babies, remember? You know, they're playing, right? And, oh. And I love it because he does it all the time for me. Amen? And guess what? When he, when, when he sets me down, it's not because he wants to set me down. It's because I'm being disobedient. I'm kicking. Right? And he'll set me down. I'm like, what? No, don't sit me down. Why? I pray this. I pray this over our church every day. That we become so intimate with Lord Jesus Christ. That Holy Spirit gets to live abundantly through you. Amen. You see, this is the life of abundance. Amen. See, a life, of, a life of abundance isn't having all these things. Rebuke that. It's not God wants to bless you. Can you hear amen? amen? Let's give my prayer for that. Anybody who wants to go against, anybody who wants to go against that, there's something going on, and I'll pray for you. Stay after church, I'll pray for you, because look at Lord Jesus. Yeah. So you cannot tell me that God doesn't want to bless you. God wants to bless you. God wants to heal you. God wants to reign in your life. God wants his life to flow through you. God wants all his angels over you. God wants your wife. God wants your husband. God wants your children. God wants it all. You know why? Lord Jesus paid for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus paid for it. Amen. Y'all, y'all ever pay for something at Walmart and forget the bag? No, that's a bad day. <laughs> Trish laughed. So, so where's the strawberry? Right? You get back in the store, go to the register. So where's my strawberries, man? And they're always so sweet at Walmart. Praise God. They're always so sweet at Walmart. Oh, here's your strawberry, sir. You left it. Thank you so much. But why was I able to just go and do that? Well, Brother PJ said it. It's paid. See, God is asking you tonight, if you're needing healing or breakthrough, with the boldness and authority that you have in Jesus' name, you tell whatever is standing in the way of your healing, my God paid for it. Give it to me. Amen. My God paid for it. Give it to me. Amen. Amen. So let's look in the Old Covenant. We're going to look at Moses. Praise God. Moses is talked a lot. Amen. How many know about Moses? Amen. And we're going to leave up the scripture and what Holy Spirit's teaching us just in John 3, 16. I love this pastor. I, I know God does it with you all the time, number one. But it's amazing now we're living in a day and age where you can talk about anything and bring all the glory back to God. Amen? Amen. You can talk about like doing cricket, right? Doing crafts and stuff. Every message can be back to Lord Jesus. Amen. It doesn't have to be from the written word. And your life is the book of God. Amen. Seriously, your life, say it with me, my life wow. is the book, the book of, a of a new covenant in Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah! So who's the author of your book? Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So may I ask you a question? As Lord Jesus turns the pages of the book, you are his book. I like pointing. You are his book, right? 
If Lord Jesus turns the page on your book and he's ready to write the blessing of the breakthrough, is there already scribble all over the page where he can't write? No. Hallelujah. I love it. Many of you said, no, there's some of you that's like, well, yeah. I got a lot of complaining in there. I got a lot of unforgiveness. Right? You hear a beloved son up here saying, fix it. Amen. And God is asking that right now. But let's get right into this. Praise God. So for God so loved Moses that he gave Moses his only son. Look at Moses here. This is how Moses was raised for some of you who don't know, okay? If you don't think God can do something with your life because you say you, let's just say you say like I, I did back in the past when I first got saved, I, I'm a mess. I mean, who in the world would want to even entertain the thought of being around me? That's what the devil made me believe, sis. Your daddy's good. How many of you heard that? Oh, yeah. oh, my goodness. I've heard things from a child that a baby should never... I'm not saying woe is me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He exposed the devil no more in Jesus' name. Right? No more. Amen. Amen. But as a child, when you hear things like that, that, oh, I wish you were never born. Right? Or it's all because of you this happened. You know, blame, condemnation. A, guess what? It tries to stick with you if you allow it. Say when you don't allow it. And I say all this because maybe you thought that you were a basket case. Well, guess what Moses was? <laughs> Did he not float down in a basket? <laughs> Man, so proud tonight. Praise God. I, I guess I should be more prepared for a Wednesday evening. You guys, oh, you guys are in the nitty gritty of things, huh? Oh. Come on, preacher, preach. Okay. No more jokes from this point on. Goodness. But you look at his past, and he was confused of his identity. Now, you need to keep in mind, Moses grew up in royalty. I mean, you're talking royalty. Servants. Everything. Glory to God. But you know what? You cannot, you cannot, you cannot outrun God. Right? Ain't that the truth? Many of us have that testimony. You cannot outrun God, right? And it came to the point, we're going to fast forward, because remember, we're using this scripture, that whoever believes in him, this is saying when you pray. Right. We fast forward. That one-on-one -on -one in the burning bush, right? Have y'all ever asked God as far as there's many of you that is blessed with farmland, right? There's many of you that are hunters, right? <laughs> How would you act if a tree just caught on fire and it didn't burn down and then all of a sudden started talking to you? <laughs> Brother Pete said, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what do you put in my drink? the glory of God is he appeared to Moses and this was a choice he had to make. Moses had to make this choice right there at that moment. Get my all in. And I love it when you see when we fast forward in a beloved child of God shall not perish but have eternal life. This is the future. Say with the future. And you saw the future of Moses, right? Amen. And then say again this old covenant. Old covenant. You see, all this that's happening with Moses, when you snap out of, when I say snap out, I don't mean that disrespectfully, church. I mean it snap out of getting here with God, snap out of trying to understand it, snap out of the pictures, amen? All I'm saying is that when you take a look at Moses and everything that he did, everything shows you Jesus. Amen? amen? You see the children that crossed on dry land, right? From a brother that was all in. A brother that was all in saying that my God would not lead us here to die. Right? Meaning that you have to have this relationship with God. Do not depend on people. Depend on Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Do not. Listen. Do not look at people who, who backslide. Do not look at people who don't want to be all in. Don't. Because the enemy right now is hoping that you focus on those people. And the moment that you adopt that into your heart, it will conquer. 
compromise, exactly. It will compromise your relationship with God because you're no longer having a relationship with the Holy One. Now you've adopted judgment. We don't judge nobody, church. We don't judge anybody's relationship with God, amen? I just trust that God is God Almighty. Meaning that if you say to me, well, Pastor, God has called me to do this, God bless you. But be careful because I hear from the Holy Spirit. He lives in me. So you can't tell me something that my God is saying because he will give me peace or he will give me discernment and show me how to pray. Not judge the situation, but pray. Amen? Say it with me. Pray it through. So the question is, are you all in? Could you imagine at this moment when at the, at the bush when Moses is talking, could you imagine at the moment if he still said, mm, Right? Could you imagine? I don't know. I'm here to tell you, God will go on to the next. God will go on to the next. Because you know why? Especially being a new covenant church, Holy Spirit right now, He is going before us. Amen. And right now, God is, God is depending are you telling me God Almighty is depending on us? Yes. God is depending on you to speak life, to speak blessings over your family, to speak blessings over yourself, to speak salvation. Listen, you may talk, you may, you may think about a cousin that may be addicted or not acting right. You may be thinking about a, a brother or sister that, 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 that you may be thinking about all these things. God is giving you the ability right now. To bring up that person's name and say, Father, by the blood of Lord Jesus, I speak salvation yes. unto them. Yes. Father, I speak life. Hallelujah. Yes. Say with me, let there be life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Say life to me. Everybody stand up real quick. Hallelujah. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Yes. We're not done yet, but we're going to do this in the name of Jesus. Yes. So you're telling me that every one of your family members are saved and Holy Spirit's living abundantly through them? Yes. If, if this is you, if you're saying that in your household, all, all of your family, everyone, has Holy Spirit living abundantly through them. Just like you, then raise your hand. Beloved church, ready to look around. Well, let's be bold about it, amen? Yeah. So God has given us the ability right now through Christ. Lord Jesus Christ is right here. Yeah. He is the center of everything. Yeah. Let's not get lazy with God, amen? Yeah. God is asking us on the count of three, let's say, let there be light. And we're going to say it the way God spoke this world into existence. And we're going to say it even gooder and gooder when God spoke, let there be light. And that was when the Lord Jesus Christ came to earth, manifested as the light of God, Holy Spirit's anointing in his life, who was crucified. And on the third day, rose again so that we could be children of light. Can you hear that? Hallelujah. Children of light. Jesus Christ, you continue to smack us down. Amen? He has no right to speak to you. 
He has no right. He has no hold over your family. He has no hold over, over, over the peace of your life. Amen? Amen? The peace was purchased through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit now lives in you and reigns in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit reigns. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Holy Spirit reigns. So you look at the past. You look at the present. Same thing. Except this time, there ain't no burning bush, is there? Right, Brother Charles? Hallelujah. Now, don't get me wrong, this was the burning bush in the old covenant. But see, there's a difference now. The sacrifice was paid. The payment was already issued. The one who holds, say we everything. The one who holds everything in the palm of his hand, my Lord Jesus Christ, he appears in all his glory. And the question is, is Saul all in? But the beauty is there is no question about Saul being all in because you know what? He was blinded yeah, yeah. by the glory. Yeah. You see, if, if Saul still held on to pride, he wouldn't be blinded for those three days. Amen, Pastor? Yeah. He had to turn loose. And it was in that interaction where he said, I am all in with you, Lord. Yeah. How many of you believe that hell is a real place? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. See, there's many of you that, some of you don't even, didn't even move, just said, Right? I really believe some of us need to get a really firm understanding of this. Think about your worst day. All right, now get out of that worst day, right? That would be heaven in hell. Your worst day. See, some of you went to death. Some of you went to holding a loved one dying. Right? Some of you went to a torturous day, abuse, whatever. Some of you went there. Why? Because Holy Spirit is teaching right now. And we have to understand that there is really a hell. There is no in-between that a lot of religions like to teach now. Oh, if you're a good person, there's good people going to hell. You know why? The only way you can get to heaven is how? Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me, one way. One way. Well, one way. And the last time I checked, if it's one way, God said that there's only one way, and it's through Lord Jesus Christ. God said that there's only one way to Lord Jesus Christ. That's like me telling you that there's no other doors in this building except this one. Hallelujah. I love it. Many of you put your spiritual lives on. You see it right now. This is one golden door. Right? And here we are as children of God saying, this is it. This is the only way. Come, come with me. Come on. Right? Come on. Right? Say what you left in your life. Future shall not perish but have eternal life. How can you explain to me that this person that was once Saul, blinded by the glory of God, being all in, just like you. Hallelujah. If you truly believe that in your heart, stay with me just like me. Just like me. Amen. Jesus Christ, your Lord. Amen. Holy Spirit, your breath. Amen. You in the temple of God. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Amen. Right? You are blessed. Look at this. Saul goes all in. Now he's Paul. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, I'm going to change my name. It's no longer going to be Joey. You know what it is, beloved. Amen. Amen. Don't you love the love? Amen. I am beloved. Amen. But the glory of God in it, He made it so simple through Christ. It's not our salvation, it's His salvation. Amen. Who is His? Who is Him? Who is He? Lord Jesus Christ. So, in order to be saved, you have to be in Him. Amen. I pray that I'm speaking to every soul this evening. That you have completely gave yourself over to Lord Jesus Christ. And if you haven't, please let me know. We're going to get. We're going to have an opportunity later after service to pray, pray with you, pray for you. Maybe you never prayed. We want to pray with you to receive Lord Jesus Christ. Or maybe you have, and you just allowed the world to come in. No more in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's get back on track. Amen. I gained a lot of weight. My goodness. I did. I gained a lot of weight. I love you. I am so glad. Praise God. Keep speaking that out. Amen. But you know, I say that because I gained a lot of weight this past 2020. 
But you know what? I never felt healthy. Amen. 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 But you know what's funny is that when I was real skinny, because at one point I lost a lot of weight, I had a lot of people say, oh, you look so good. You know, you look really healthy. But they didn't know that I was bleeding for months. Something was wrong. And God allowed me to share that testimony with you because all we kept doing was praying through it. But if you notice, when you look at people by the cover, right, it's quick to try to judge, oh, you look real good, you look... What God is asking of you right now is will you just come on, come on, come on, family, just get rid of everything. Let's get naked with God. Amen. Don't actually take your clothes off, I'm just saying. Right? Let, let's be transparent. I pray above all that open arms to me, church, we can come as we are and not mask ourselves. Because guess what? You're not fooling God. You may fool your neighbor sitting next to you. You may want to act like you got it together in front of church. I don't know why you would want to do that. When you're blessed with a pastor like me to tell you that I don't got nothing together and I'm the weakest one here, I, I don't know what your excuse is. But what I'm begging you to do is just let it go. Because there's sometimes, I, I firmly believe in my heart, sometimes, we just want to skate through. Just slide on through. And before I even move on, we're about ready to close now, but before I move on, do you know that hell is real? Because truly, if you know hell is real, you won't allow yourself to compromise with Christ. You won't allow yourself to get lazy with God. Right? You won't allow yourself to pass up. You, you would be so fearful of the Lord of what he's done for you on that cross and how his presence is living in your life that every day you would tell your beloved wife, bless God. Amen. Can you pray today? I didn't even tell my wife that. My goodness, first thing early in the morning, she's in the prayer room. I'm not boasting on earth. Oh, Lord Jesus. But guess what? The same expectation is for me as her husband. Right? As the day continues and maybe there's a sound. <clears throat> there's that sound, right? <clears throat> She'll call me on it. What was that sound? What's, what's going on? Oh, honey, I'm just annoyed. We just got out of this conversation. So you're saying it's your problem? No, it's not my problem. Give it to the Lord. Give it to the Lord. He is living and breathing within us. Beloved church family, I preach a message. Pastor preaches a message. It's all Holy Spirit. That this is why. This is why. They killed Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. This is why they murdered Lord Jesus Christ. This is why that after Lord Jesus Christ was glorified and the day of Pentecost came and Holy Spirit lived in every soul that wanted him, this is why religion went rampant. It's to try to stop what Holy Spirit is doing. Will you allow Holy Spirit to flow in your life? Amen. Are you all in? This word all, in Latin, the root word of all is omni. Can you say that with me? Omni. Omni. There's three omnis that theologians love to talk about, but there's many because God is everything good and perfect. Amen? And it's, these, it's this three. Om, om, say it with me. Omnipotent. Say it with me. Omnipotent. Omniscient. Omnipresent. And what this means is, God is all powerful. Yeah. Say it with me, all powerful. All powerful. Say it with me, God is all knowing. All That's all he's saying. All knowing. All wisdom is in God. Yeah. And omnipresence is God is God holds the universe in his hands. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You see, God demonstrated, here's the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, that God is all in for his love for you. That there will come a day when judgment takes place. But we are living right now in mercy and grace of God. Yeah. Where God is willing to save every soul that will just call out to him and want him to live yeah. in him. Will you be all in with God tonight? At this time, I want to ask everyone of, every one of you to stand.
we do have a couple quick songs that we're going to play that we always like to because yes, it's great, you know, that we worship this way. We we have the message that Holy Spirit has for us. You know, we get we get to listen to the preaching, and, and I am I'm so thankful for everything that God does through us as, as a ministry of reconciliation. I want to have every eye closed, head bowed. And you guys know, for those of you who've been rooted here for years, we don't normally do this. The Holy Spirit said he wants this done tonight. If you have gone astray, Father God is asking you, will you stop? Did I not do enough for you, my child? That all I want is to have a relationship with you. Or maybe you're like the father who said that for many, many, many years you've just been living in the pig pen. The word of God says maybe you've indulged yourself in carousing in all the pleasures of this world. But you also know that it was never enough. It just left me more thirsty. It just left me worse off and I could never get out and I just kept getting deeper and deeper. Maybe I'm talking to you tonight. Holy Spirit just wants to see not only the de declaration of the boldness of you lifting up your hand, but Holy Spirit wants to hear your confession of faith in your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray this evening that we together as one body, Lord Jesus Christ, that we can all say the prayer of salvation after, after you make this declaration. So right now, without anybody looking, except for me, I'm going to ask you, if that's you, will you raise your hand? Looking around, it's, it's just between you and God. And the Holy Spirit asked me to have Pastor open his eyes. Keep your hand up. This is only between you and God. The Holy Spirit asked me to ask Pastor and our elders to open your eyes. The elders, Pastor, we just look around at, at, at our beloved church family, our sheep. And this is a declaration, Pastor, elders of these souls right now that has given a confession unto Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit, tonight, this is the night of my eternal salvation. Hallelujah. You can put your hands down. Praise God. You can open your eyes and look up. As we promise our Lord Jesus Christ, who is right here and living in you, physically right here in his holy church. As we promise the Lord what Holy Spirit asked us to do. We're going to say this prayer together. And what an honor it is, amen? amen? And this prayer is going to seal you for all of eternity by the blood of God, only through this one perfect man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And when we're done with this prayer, we got, we got music that's going to play. Come to the altar. Let's rejoice, amen? amen. Well, beloved church family, whatever number you think of souls that cried out to Lord Jesus, it's more. Amen? So let's pray. Y'all ready? Amen. Amen. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. To be one in me. To be one in me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. From this breath on. From this breath on. You live, you live abundantly, abundantly through, me. through me. Father God, Father God thank, you thank you for saving my soul, for saving my soul through, Christ my Lord. through Christ my Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you so much.